how close are you? May 4th <laughs> to the day. <laughs> That is six-time Olympian Haley Wickenheiser, who won four Olympic gold medals for Canada's women's hockey team. She's talking about how close she is to finishing her schooling to become a doctor. I'm about a month away. We have a little month break because we have interviews for our residency positions, but one month of actual rotations, uh, surgery left for me and I'm done. It's been interesting being in medicine, finishing medicine in a pandemic. I never thought I would be in this position. While going to school to become a doctor, Haley led the push early on in Canada to help get frontline workers PPE supplies during the pandemic. Well, that first part of the, the pandemic with the conquer COVID-19 and the PPE drive was insanity. It was very, very busy for those few months. Um, but it gave me a purpose because everything in my life, like everything in everyone else's life, kind of stopped. Wickenheiser continues to raise funds and supplies for frontline workers. Now, during all of this, she's also the mother of a 20-year-old and the Hockey Hall of Fame inductee is also the assistant director of player development for the Toronto Maple Leafs. I don't know. It's just something that uh, has worked well. I, my job with the Leafs, I've been able to commute between the three years of med school between Calgary and Toronto, working with them more virtually here in the last year, just given the pandemic. And then the other things that I've, I've done seem to just, to just fit. So uh, I guess no minutes wasted. I don't spend a lot of time uh, idle. So I think I'd be bored otherwise. <laughs> so I've got to keep busy. Haley's a role model for so many people for a laundry list of reasons. And for young, inspiring female hockey players, Haley didn't just dominate the field, she broke many barriers. And for more than a decade, she's hosted WickFest, which is a festival to encourage and support young women in sports. Well, you know, we had done WickFest live for 12 years in person, and over those 12 years, we worked with 30,000 kids. So, you know, just experiencing the joy that WickFest brings and knowing with the pandemic how many of our Young kids in particular were having a tough time, especially with no minor hockey in most parts of this country. So we put together the virtual WIC Fest. Last fall, she held the festival virtually because of the pandemic and is hosting another virtual WIC Fest this weekend. So the whole concept of WIC Fest is just to develop um, athletes or, and, and good people and then hockey players second, really. I just finished a six-week pediatric rotation in medicine where I saw a ton of teens struggling with mental health. And um, so I think just to bring some sense of normalcy, some connection to these kids and they have a chance to get on. And um, I know at the end of the last Wick Fest, everybody had to show their animal. And at the end, <laughs> it just went on and on and on. And so we have a lot of fun with it. We're learning too. But in this new Zoom world, everybody's making the best of it. This weekend, they will be opening the festival to everyone, no matter how you identify or your age. You can find out more information at wickfest.com. Lindsay Dunn, City News.